evening, everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. He's ring walk. He's... When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Teddy, in your training career, when you've gone up against a power puncher like we have in the ring tonight, do you prefer to have a fighter like this opposite him, a guy that'll fight on the outside? Yeah, I want a guy that's a little bit scared. He's got a darn good reason to be scared. If he's not, he's going to get knocked out. Stay away from that power. Blocks that punch. Vladimir Klitschko's ability to put together those two, three, four punch combinations, that's what makes Vladimir so dangerous when he goes into that mode. Yeah, one other thing with it, Joe, the power. He has power with those punches, unlike his brother. His brother doesn't really put them together with really bad intentions. But Vladimir, yes, he does. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Halfway through round number one. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Well, this is the kind of work, a good solid headshot that won Vladimir Klitschko the heavyweight championship and has kept him on top now for the better part of this decade. Yeah, what I like about it is when he throws the punches, he's always in position to come back with another one. I'm expecting him to start coming back with other ones now. Vladimir Klitschko's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. That's a fierce left hand that landed by Vladimir Klitschko. Vladimir Klitschko's putting forth a great combination there. Sending out the power shot, it was a straight left hand. Able to dismiss it. Vladimir Klitschko's ability to get to his opponent worked out well there. He damaged him in that round. There's that proficient jab by Vladimir Klitschko. Everybody knows Vladimir Klitschko wants to do that right there. The jab, the straight, typically the win. Nice block. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Vladimir Klitschko. And he ties up on the inside. And the ref looks at him and says, no headbutting, hands out the warning. Left hand came after the jab. Really on the mark with that overhand left. Vladimir Klitschko's punch didn't come close. Blocks away that headshot. Jab right hand. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Vladimir Klitschko's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. A little head hunting with the right. Little volume punching to the body there. Wow, is he defensively sound. With all that leverage, all that size, and with Vladimir Klitschko, do not discount the technique. He turns that right hand into a big-time weapon. Vladimir Klitschko's... I mean, you can tell by how committed he is at staying on the outside and just continuing to score like this that he is employing a strategy that he really wanted to put forth. Yeah, I give him a lot of credit because he understood what kind of fight he was getting ready for. A guy who was very strong, but very slow-footed. So he's making sure that he does not feed into his opponent's strengths and he makes sure that he exploits his weaknesses. Now hugging on the inside. <laughs> A well-placed left hand up top. Hey, hey, Vladimir hey, Klitschko's hey, hey, hey. combination go punching yeah, is on, working well see. here. <laughs> to 
committing well now to that left hand over the top. Scored well up top. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old times used to say when you come in there with your component, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. He got hit, but he sent it right back. This is what Vladimir Klitschko wants more of. Good, effective work with the jab. The halfway point of this third round. Baby, come on, champ. Good, solid shots with the combo downstairs. Vladimir Klitschko's combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid shots. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Vladimir Klitschko's feeling the effects now of that hook. To the belt line he goes with a left hand. Good biting, snapping shot by Vladimir Klitschko. Relax, relax. All right, just let it go, all right? You're taking him. This is a classic example we're seeing here as we start round number four of just the busier guy taking the fight. He's up three rounds to zip on Teddy's scorecard. Yeah, my concern, though, Joe, I have one little concern. What's there. that? Well, is he winning the battles that may be going to lose to war because he's really wearing himself out. He's working so hard to get things done. Down the road, does he pay a price? That right hand over the top lands flush. Blocks that punch. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Good fundamental work, landing the one-two there. Well, the punch stat guys will know how to easily mark that one down as a bad miss. Hits him in the mug with the right. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Nice combination, landing more than one. Both were able to score. Turn fire that time. Targeting that one two. You're that tall, you're that big, you're that capable, you're gonna land jabs like he just did. Vladimir Klitschko scores again. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. I have no idea what I'm seeing right here, Teddy. The guy's not doing anything. He's just standing there with his opponent opposite him. Oh, Joe, I would beg to differ. You do have an idea what you're seeing. You're seeing a guy right now that looks like he's spitting the pit. Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. Vladimir Klitschko is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Effective with that one-two. Still plenty of time to work here at round number five. A minute and a half to go. Vladimir Klitschko's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Little head hunting with the left. 
left hook to the body. Right hand. Well, he's going to lose a point that Second, there. He was point going point to the crotch so much, he should have asked his opponent to cough. Good looking two punch combination there. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. And round five comes to an end. Vladimir Klitschko's in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Ooh. Scored well with the hook. something for him himself, and it's a left hand. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Able to land with the right. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Scored well up top. Keep moving. When Keep Vladimir moving. Klitschko cranks up that right hand, you need to get out of the way. Showing you some defense there with the block. A well-timed hook by Vladimir Klitschko. What? Vladimir Klitschko's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Ten clicks of the top. Cover up. And round six comes to an end. Nice you know, Teddy, I'm nice looking at that cut as he's in the corner now, and it doesn't look good at all. Do you think he thinks he has to go out there and try to end this fight? Not only does he think it, I think he's right. I think that he probably has very little time left before the referee or the doctor's going to stop this. And he needs to be thinking that way if he's not. Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. You send out the initial scouting report on Vladimir Klitschko, that's what you will see. Vladimir landing a jab. A good block. How is he taking these kind of shots and just dismissing them? What a chin on this guy. Yeah, well, what a neck on him. Look at that neck. I mean, it's about 19 inches. That is the shock absorber. But the rest of it is he's seeing it. He has good vision. He sees the shots coming, and he's making up his mind. They're not taking him anywhere. At the halfway point of round seven. And out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good. Now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him. His opponent wasn't thrown back. He got a little lax, and he paid a price. Solid shot, the overhand left. So after being hurt, Vladimir Klitschko now looks steady on his feet again. And don't expect him to make the same mistake twice. And it looks
looks like he's bleeding from the nose. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. And that's the end of round seven. Come on now, if you want to get back into this fight. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard as we begin this eighth round here, and you can see that, yes, he's up, but if you've been watching this fight closely, you know that anything still can happen here. So his opponent is a real tough guy, doesn't get discouraged, continues to come with a fast pace, and a guy like that, you never, never count out. Good job, boy, good job. Vladimir Klitschko's doing exactly what he told us he would do. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, but he's sticking to that game plan. You know, I like that. You know, I want to see how a guy behaves under pressure. He hasn't panicked, you know. He still believes in his identity, believes in his talents, his abilities, and he's going to stay that way unless the guy convinces him later on. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Great work offensively landing that combination by Vladimir Klitschko. One, two, one, two, that's it. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. The halfway point of round number eight. Little head knocking with that right hand. And now just wasting everybody's time holding it. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Targeting that head with the combination punching. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Keep it going. A rushing two-punch combo by Vladimir Klitschko. That's a big hook to the head by Vladimir Klitschko. Fires right back at him. Vladimir Klitschko's left now getting into the mix. Really a lot of consistency from him with the right hand. What a mess this is right now. There's blood absolutely everywhere. He's got to worry about so many fronts, including the ref or Doc stopping the fight. Yeah, but you know, that's the funny thing for a fight, for a professional show, I would argue with you. He's not supposed to worry about all those things. No. Now's really the time that he must not worry about any of those things. Very nice defensive guard there. <laughs> Basic but beautiful jab right hand. You see he comes over the top with that right hand, a real solid shot. Vladimir Klitschko is proving to be elusive. Southpaw right jab, then the left hand. Vladimir Klitschko's jab lands well. He's completely turned his offense off. You can see that he's just in an extreme defensive posture. But still, his opponent is scoring here. Look, the extreme defensive posture is a problem. But if he was moving his head with his hands up, at least there'd be misses there. When his opponent would miss, there'd be an opening to come back where even if you didn't come back, his opponent would be a little worried about sitting in there on you. He'd have to think defense. Right now, he's only thinking offense. Hey, man, come on now. There's a right hand. Come on now. He fires off the combination there and it lands. Nice work, the left hand to the head. He scored well after being hit himself. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Vladimir Klitschko's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. So he takes a breather between rounds after he just put forth more of the same punishment. Teddy, we've been sitting here all night long as he lands these thudding blows. You can just hear the damage landing. Yeah, and I can feel them. Some fluids that I don't really want are coming onto my shirt. Committing upstairs now, he goes there again.
Scores up top with a left. A barrage of punches that time. Good combination. Yeah, that's what you want. You don't want one at a time. You want three or four. That hook. He didn't see that left hand. And it got to him. There it is. There he goes. He goes down from that headshot. One. Two. Three. Down he goes. Now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to to grab on, kill a little time. Good one, two by Vladimir Klitschko. Do that again. Jab lands for Vladimir Klitschko there. He's had a lot of success throughout his career simply doing that.